Let's talk really quickly about the setup of the playing area and the boards that you use to play cornhole. The boards are four feet long by two feet wide. They have a six inch circle that is nine inches on center from the back edge of the board. And the back edge of the board is 12 inches off of the ground. I've built these with a three quarter inch piece of birch. It's a nice thick uh, wood that allows the bag to hit solidly and slide nicely. If you make the top sheet out of a uh, wood that's too thin, they will tend to bounce a little bit when the bags hit and they don't play very well. Um, I used one by threes to create the frame on the bottom side. And honestly, I would suggest making your own. There are tutorials all over the web to figure out how to do it, but uh, it's pretty rewarding to make your own and uh, play some games on uh, boards that you've built. Now, when you're playing, you can step just up to the front edge of the board, but not past. You can step to the back edge of the board, but not behind. And you have a three foot wide box off to the sides of the board. So if you need to get a little angle thrown the other way, you can move over up to three feet away. The official cornhole distance is 27 feet from the front edge of this board to the front edge of the other board. Now, when you're learning to play or you're playing some backyard games, it's perfectly fine to scoot a little bit closer, put the boards at maybe 24 feet so that everybody has a little more fun and uh, gets a few more in the hole. However, when you play against someone who's really good and you scoot the bags back to the correct distance, don't be that person that goes, boy, this feels really far away because honestly it is far and it's a hard game and it should be hard. So. I would suggest practicing at the correct distance so that when you play against someone who's pretty good at the game, you know what you're doing and you can compete. The last equipment you need to play the game are your bags. Now, cornhole bags are six inch square. They weigh one pound each. They are typically filled with corn. That's why it's called cornhole or uh, in the case of these it's filled with a resin material like resin beads and these are great because they are waterproof most of them have a duck canvas uh, cover on them uh, usually they're on both sides this is more of a tournament style bag that has the canvas on one side which is a little more slippery and a microfiber side which will grab a little bit more when it hits the board kind of changes the dynamics of the game a bit regardless of which ones you play with just look online, you can find sets of these all over the place. Should be 40, 50 bucks for a nice set that will last you a long time. Let's talk about how we score the game of cornhole. So first we have the points that are given for each throw. And you get one point for any bag that ends up on the board. You get three points for any bag that ends up in the hole. Now these one point bags have a couple stipulations. First and foremost, you cannot have a bag that hits the ground and then bounces up onto the board. Those are illegal. They need to be wiped off the bag as soon as they're thrown. So you get, if you have somebody that hits one, bounces up, rolls on, and they say, oh, that's good. Nope, that doesn't count. Also, the bag cannot be touching the board and the ground. If it's barely off of the ground, but sitting on the board, it's good. As long as it hit the board and stayed here. So a one point for anything on the board, three points for anything in the hole. Now, cornhole uses what's called cancellation or net scoring. That means that only one team is gonna score on any given round or no teams are gonna score. And what that means is you take what you've thrown for the round and the number of points you've accumulated minus or plus whatever the other team did. So let's look at an example here. Let's say we have a scenario where the blue team threw two on the board and one that went in that would be five points. And the orange team threw three on the board and they missed one off of the back. That would be five for blue minus the three for the orange team. So blue would net two points. The game is always played to 21 points. It's a race to 21. That means the first team that ends a round at 21 points or more is the winner. There is no uh, must land on 21 rule. There is no uh, you got to win by two rule. So first team that gets to 21 points at the end of a round is the winner. You may find if you've got two players of really different levels, 
that the better player generally is going to score all the points. It's very hard for a player who's not as good to score when the other player is making a few each round, getting a couple on the board. You could get to a point where people have three or four bags on every time and never score points. So it's okay uh, in a backyard game or just having some fun with the game to handicap it a little bit uh, to make it fair. So if you wanna play a game where the one player has to land directly on 21 and the other player just needs to get to 21, or maybe uh, you come up with something unique like the good player has to fly every bag in the hole to score points, that's the only way they get any points, and that way uh, it evens out the playing field a little bit and everybody can have more fun. If you come up with some unique, fun way to play a handicapped game of cornhole that you and your buddies are doing, maybe uh, you're a lot better and the buddy's not as good and you just want to play a game that's more fair, uh, leave that in the comments below. I'd be curious to see what you come up with and uh, maybe it'll be some fun ways to implement a handicapped cornhole game in some of the leagues that we play in.